I don't know if anybody checked the mail today yet. The ladies just got home. Finished that tear out in that entry of the old wing, the lost wing there. Did the concrete repair I had to do in the transition between the entryway and the living room. Well, I figured I'd take this opportunity, give you guys a quick outdoor I walk down and check the mail. We'll come back through that little area. You know, we're so blessed. We come from the eighth of an acre in the middle of Boise, Idaho. And we come to the middle of nowhere, Foxworth, Mississippi. And yeah, the house has been trying uh, between the AC, the electrical, the plumbing. But you know what? That's all done. That's all taken care of. Now it's to the remodel part of it, which, you know, that's what I know. So, I'll give you guys a quick walk to the check the mailbox. I love this walk. Usually I do it about 8 in the morning. A gorgeous walk that early. Uh, however, the ladies left first thing this morning, so it's not so easy to do with the three kids. And we got spigots. Uh, I'll, I'll point them out as we... Our kudzu has taken over, and that's no joke. And I miss trash day this morning. I bring my trash down here every week. And people fly down this road. the other side of and then see our nearest neighbors are down here that's mr Dwayne and miss beth they're very polite people very kind-hearted uh, very blessed to have them this early as our neighbor but our property line goes down to where their clearing starts um, however it's going to take me a brush hog probably a day to get to them this kudzu ain't no joke so we got a couple spigots they originally had put in so they could water their garden from out here with ease and one's right here um the plumber had told me there's three or four out there i've yet to locate but two of them obviously um, <laughs> I'm going to have my work cut out for me there. You know, one thing I didn't expect was the pine trees. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I just didn't know what to expect moving down here. Here's another one. He's got capped off. So that means there's at least one more out there somewhere. Um, I guess they had a big half acre garden here at one point. So I guess I just didn't know what to expect. Moving down here from Boise. Uh, definitely. Nobody pays attention to these signs. I don't know why I put them up. They just come right on down anyways. Uh, but you can see all of this covered in kudzu down here. And pine tree. I mean, we were very blessed to find five and a half acres in the middle of nowhere in Mississippi. And I've seen more reptiles and wildlife that I've never seen down here than I did in 31 years in Boise. Oh. Big beautiful trees, man. And so, bit by bit, I began to mow myself out.
beautiful lady. I'm very blessed to have her as well. No. I'm not going to walk too far out there because I haven't yet. that cleared so bad the kudzu's cool when it takes something over but it's such a pain in the butt I'll take you guys around the side now little saplings everywhere right there here just past this thicket of trees there I believe to be our boundary just past that down at what they call the branch I'm not sure why that's what they call it but I'm not sure a lot down here just yet massive porch that's why I need some attention out here too but that's probably last on my list honestly this grass is all getting too damn thick to feel comfortable walking through it uh, right here from this clearing around to here just through there's the fence way uh, I believe the original pictures I saw hey look look everybody there's snowball hey snowball the original photos had a pin here but right here is the pool that I'm hopeful is at least in two pieces. Uh, who knows? Uh, then we go down beyond here to this, these pine trees here. Uh, and just beyond that's the creek, 10 mile creek. And we extend about 10 yards beyond that. Um, I'm nowhere near down there yet either. Uh, here's the back end of it. You know, like I said, we, we, we were blessed uh, to find this, to find the the people we have found so far down here. I can't, I can't wait. I mean, it's overgrown like nobody's belief right now. Um, but I, I can't wait. And you can see pins down there. Uh, it looks like one right about here, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, somebody's pile of trash I don't know hey I've started one too I just can't burn it bury it can't bring myself to do it and we go down through this thicket here uh, probably 80 yards in front of me and run this away back up to the road uh, again it's overgrown not prepared for snakes so I'm really I'm not going to go out there. Uh, that, and I'm already hit the... Oh, here, we got a skitter here. We were told at first that we had become the new owners of because they thought it was on property. So, of course, being honest Americans, we did the right thing. We called the sheriffs, had the sheriff come out and uh, take a report, take the VIN numbers, take the serial numbers off of the entire machine, anything they could find. Uh, so they could try to find the owner to it. And about five days later, we had a man come up and let us know where the property boundary was, that it's not on ours as far as he has come to believe. So we're going to have a survey and we'll see exactly where our line is. Again, I missed trash day today. So. There you go, there you have it. There's 
Yeah, just down here beyond this big tree here in front of us, there's that thicket of brush behind it. That's the property boundary that away. Um, the gentleman who owned the other 5.2 acres on the other side of that uh, was originally part of this property. He passed and now his sister owns it. I'd like to find out what it would take to maybe reacquire that because I'd like to have this property. Anyways, thank you guys for taking the time to watch a 10 and a half minute video. Um, look forward to posting more for you. God bless.